Not in the name of the most high. One day the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam grabs Abdullah ibn Umar and he says to him, Kun fi dunya ka'annaka gharib aw aabiru sabeel. He tells him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which is an advice being given by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to Abdullah ibn Umar. And Abdullah ibn Umar was very close to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says to him, be in this dunya as a stranger or someone who's just a traveler. What did the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say that to Abdullah ibn Umar? Because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wants the best good and he wants the best benefit for his followers. Whether it's Abdullah ibn Umar or anyone that comes after Abdullah ibn Umar, people like us or the people that come after us. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wants us to be the most successful people in this world and the most successful people in the hereafter. And that's why the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells Abdullah ibn Umar, be in this dunya like a stranger. Be in this dunya like a guest. They work hard in this dunya for the hereafter because your ultimate goal is the hereafter. Your ultimate goal is the Jannah. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam acted upon that. And he encouraged the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum to be that. Unfortunately, a lot of the times we get distracted by this dunya. We get distracted by the materialisms of this dunya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us in this, in this dunya for us to work hard in this dunya for the hereafter, to establish our greatest destination which is the Jannah in the hereafter. And that's why the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in the hadith, Man khafa adlaj wa man adlaj balagh al manzil, ala inna salat Allah ghali, ala inna salat Allah yal jannah. Whoever fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wake up the night praying to Allah azza wa jalla. And then the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam says, the property of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is expensive and the property of Allah azza wa jalla is the Jannah. Our ultimate destination, our ultimate goal is the Jannah. I want the Jannah and I'm sure you want the Jannah. But we need to work hard for the Jannah. We need to strive for the Jannah. We need to sacrifice for the Jannah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention in the Quran al -Kareem, Strive and sacrifice your life and your wealth for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Give up what you love most for the sake of Allah azza wa jalla. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the Jannah. You need to spend time. You need to spend time. You need to put time and effort. You need to put the money and the wealth that you've got for the sake of Allah azza wa jalla. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the Jannah. Unfortunately, a lot of us think just by being a Muslim, we're going to enter the Jannah. Maybe, yes, eventually at the end, you're going to enter the Jannah. But why should you go through the hellfire to the Jannah? Why well, don't you go straight to the Jannah? Why should you go through the hellfire to the Jannah? You go straight to the Jannah, work so hard for the Jannah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the Jannah. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teaches us, إِذَا سَأَلْتُمُ اللَّهَ الْجَنَّةَ فَسَأَلُهُ الْفِرْدَوْسِ if you ever ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the Jannah, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the Firdaus, which is the highest level of the Jannah. Why should you aim for something low in the Jannah? Aim for something high in the Jannah. That's the aspiration that every single believer must have, is that you aspire to be in the highest level of the Jannah. This is the character of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he had taught us. This is the character of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that had imparted to us. And these are the sort of things that we need to constantly remind ourselves. That's why Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells Abdullah ibn Umar, be in this dunya like a stranger or a traveler. Work so hard in this dunya for the hereafter. That does not mean you neglect the rights of this dunya upon you. That does not mean you neglect your wealth, you neglect your career, you neglect your education, you neglect your family or neglect your work. No, you put time and effort into that. But at the end of the day, this is secondary. What's number one and primary is that you work for the Jannah and everything else follows. Unfortunately, sometimes we turn things around. The Jannah and working for the Jannah is becoming secondary, if not last, and everything else is becoming primary and number one. We need to start changing our priorities and we need to start working so hard to pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you please Allah azza wa jal, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the goodness of this dunya and the hereafter. When you displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will lose in this dunya and the hereafter. And that's the beauty of Islam, guarding you and teaching you the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to acquire success and happiness in this dunya and to acquire success and happiness in the hereafter. Be in this dunya as a traveler or as someone who is a stranger, as the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu gives the advice to Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. That's why Abdullah ibn Umar says in the hadith following that, he said that if you wake up in the morning, don't wait for the night. And if you are not, don't, wake up, don't wait for the morning. The reason that he said that is because that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had written upon you what had written upon you. Strive for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah azza wa can give you more. Strive towards the paradise and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you this dunya and the hereafter. And remember, we need to sacrifice in this dunya for us to acquire the paradise in the hereafter. We need to sacrifice in this dunya for us to achieve the paradise in the hereafter. It doesn't come cheap as the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa made it very clear. The property of Allah is expensive. The property of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the people of the Jannah. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
Jenna, 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 Jenna.